safety has been a passion of mine for as long as I can remember. This passion culminated into a near obsession when I witnessed the aftermath of an arc flash incident that occurred inside of an electrical room at a natural gas facility. The room had rows and rows upon electrical switchgear, disconnects, motor starting equipment, circuit breakers, panels, and just about any other type of electrical equipment you can think of. Most of the uh, gear was providing power to massive compressors used for compressing gas for transportation. The motor voltages ranged from 480 volts to 4,160 volts, and you could hear the near deafening sounds of the power flowing through the equipment humming along at 60 hertz. Now I visited the MCC several times before and I never felt an uneasy feeling or anxious about being surrounded by so much power, but you know they say with great power comes great responsibility. Responsibility from those installing the equipment, responsibility from those who tested and commissioned the equipment, responsibility to confirm that every wire feeding every device was installed properly and maintained accordingly. Those who were responsible for these tasks unfortunately failed. It was an eerie unsettling experience to walk into the control room the day after the failure. The smoke had cleared, so to speak, but the smell of copper, the melted copper, and burned equipment still loomed. To see the massive equipment against the south wall missing an entire section was uh, shocking, to say the least, no pun intended. All that remained was a large charred section of burned up wire, bus, and whatever else used to be in its place. Across the room was a large gauge door that used to seal the equipment behind it. The explosion that resulted from the art flash removed it from its hinges and tossed it across the room like a rag doll. It was bent and twisted and charred with black material. Luckily, no one was inside the MCC that day. No one taking readings off the various meters or screens, the uh, human machine interfaces that provide vital information to the operators. No one was inside performing maintenance, not even the janitor who kept the space clean from dust and debris. Had someone been standing in front of the doomed piece of equipment, they would have surely not survived. This was an eye-opening experience, and for the first time I truly appreciated and respected the amount of power that we're dealing with. With great power comes great responsibility. How responsible are you around your electrical equipment?